Is there just one thing that's scientifically proven? There's just a new study saying that this one thing, if you do it, completely reverses type 2 diabetes and has been proven to regenerate human growth hormone and reverse the aging process. Well, if you're just dying to know the one thing, please hit subscribe. I am Casey Ann Reynolds. I am creating a eight step video series. Subscribe and that notification bell because this is an eight part series. So you definitely want to click onto the previous two videos. The one is the introduct introductory video. Super important for you to watch that one. And then also you're going to want to watch all about green Mediterranean diet. So make sure also that I will be releasing more videos about those two big topics. And there is a PDF in the description box that goes into greater detail. Alrighty, so what is this thing that is going to do all these wonderful, amazing things? It's intermittent fasting. And there's been a lot of videos, there's been a lot of talk about intermittent fasting. So when you start my program, of course with doctor's approval, we already talked about that in the introductory video. When you start, do not, no, big no, no. Do not start with fasting because it's not gonna make any difference because you have so much sugar. We're just gonna use nice simple terms because remember I teach middle school, keeping it easy peasy. But basically your liver, if you eat too much carbs, it stores it as fatty liver. That's why even obese people's livers can look worse than say a chronic alcoholics. So there's all sorts of visceral fat. So this fat is so bad for your health. So belly fat, means you're not healthy, okay? Like if you can have fat around your thighs, it's actually healthy for you. That's actually great for longevity, which is a good thing for me. I'm not gonna be doing any bodybuilding competitions, but yeah, fat on the thighs, good. Fat on the belly, bad. Belly fat's like a, an alien that's taking over your body. It makes you hungry. It makes you depressed. It makes you anxious. It makes us, you can't sleep. So it releases its own little hormones. So what we're going to do is combat that with intermittent fasting. I do like to do a 24 hour fast if I need to lose weight. Just recently this fall, I don't, I, I just was going through a lot of stress. Okay. That's gonna be step number eight. But anyhow, I was going through a lot of stress. Look at that before picture. Oh my God, look at that big belly. And it's the after picture. <laughs> but anyhow, I did a couple 24 hour day fast. You know, I love them. I think they're amazing to lose a lot of weight right at the beginning because as a behavior chain specialist, you need to see like results bang, like right out of the box. You, especially when, when you lose belly fat, you all of a sudden are fitting in clothes a lot better and you don't have a bloaty feeling. So anyhow, clean colon. So when we don't eat, our stomach stays clean. Freezing is bad for you. <laughs> in case you hadn't realized, human history, we never had grazing ever. Even three meals a day is a modern invention to get people to eat more. And guess who was invented by? big food companies, farmers. I mean, if you think about farmers, yes, they got up and ate breakfast and they had lunch and they had a small dinner, but they were burning so many calories all day long. I mean, in our sedentary lifestyle, we barely burn any calories, but yet we've been told to boost our metabolism by snacking all day long. Snacking makes you hungry. Not eating, it makes you not think about food. You, because people have eating disorders, and I will put it, I don't, I've never experienced an eating disorder, binge eating, but I know it's a super, super huge problem and can really cause you not be, to be able to lose weight. So I'm going to attempt to get behind the behavior of how you can change your behavior if you binge eat. So I'm going to really try to do that as a behavior change specialist. But that being said, I do think the grazing and eating all the time is triggering binge eating. It's like the weirdest thing is, do I get hungry? Now I'm going to explain intermittent fasting. The way I do it is I, my last meal is usually eight o'clock at night. I have a glass of wine. I do my little supplements and then I do not eat until noon the next day. Now when I'm trying to burn more fat, like sometimes I just like put a little bit of weight on, I'll try to push that out to two, but that's pretty not typical. Usually I just eat at noon and that's about it. And if I'm like, I do eat breakfast, on the weekends, because I feel like you shouldn't do intermittent fasting every single day, your body will get too used to it. So I like to mix things up, 
on the weekends I'll eat breakfast at like 10 o'clock. So that's the simple easy peasy explanation of intermittent fasting is you're not eating. Lean colon, clean stomach is like you're being amazed. Like I no longer get sleepy and tired at three o'clock. I feel great. I feel energetic. Like all day long I have so much energy. I sleep really, really well. We are meant to fast. We were not meant to graze. So intermittent fasting is a miracle because it lowers your insulin so that you don't have to do a kenogenic diet, which a kenogenic diet is very limiting, first off, and it's kind of a fatty diet. And it can cause your blood work to go a little bit wonky, and I don't think it can always be the healthiest for you in the long term. But we can achieve those same results with intermittent fasting. And then if you do a 24 hour a day fast, you're really gonna have that autophagy, which is getting the human growth hormone. You're gonna see that aging, like your face is gonna look so much better. And that's what I realized is when I lost weight six years ago, and I look at those pictures from like seven years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, if you click on my video for Botox in a bottle, yeah, I mean, I use some $20 products, but still, still like I'm literally aging in reverse. And I definitely attribute that to the intermittent fasting fasting. Do I miss breakfast? No, here's something super weird. Like on the weird hand chance, like if I go on vacation or something like that and I decide to go eat a big breakfast, I am just as hungry at 10 o'clock in the morning as it would be if I ate nothing. So the hunger doesn't change. Like you're hungry when you wake up, I'm hungry at noon, and then I'm hungry at dinner time. This man just wants to join every video. Go, go away. He needs to do more fasting. He's not a good example of my lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, he's a little chunky. You get hungry three times a day. The hunger goes away. That's why it's like you think a 24 hour day fast is like gonna be a challenge. You're like, oh, you're like, oh I, can't, I can't do it. It's really easy. I always do on a Thursday. For me, Thursdays are my busy days. I just keep myself busy all day long. Busy, busy, busy. Then go to the gym, even though it's not gonna be my best workout. I mean, I'm like not going to have a personal best if I haven't eaten all day, but just to kind of keep my seven, eight, and then I eat again. So you only get hungry. This that's all in your brain. It's just your brain releases a lot of chemicals to indicate to you when you're hungry. It's a brain issue. So when you fast, you kind of reset that. And I think it really helps with those people that struggle with that binge eating because you're not constantly triggering that need to eat where then you can't stop. I think another false thing I've heard a lot about fasting is that if you only eat two meals a day, you will overeat. Oh my gosh, so that is the, the biggest wrong, wrongo I've ever heard of. The more you fast, the smaller your stomach gets. So my stomach, it's not like I have a weight loss or anything, my stomach just can't tolerate much food. I can't do one meal a day because I could not get all my nutrition. So I start to eat. I always eat my green veggies first. So I eat my broccoli, I eat my salad, I am just stuffed. I mean, I am so incredibly stuffed. I couldn't even imagine like wanting to binge because if you're already doing my green Mediterranean lifestyle, you're eating healthy food. I mean, there's only so much binging you can do on broccoli and salmon and chicken and cottage cheese and berries and nuts. I mean, it's not like a bag of potato chips. So you're not going to binge, you're going to feel full, you're going to feel amazing, and you're gonna feel clean. Like you're gonna have that nice, empty stomach feeling, a clean colon. So that's what we're aiming for, to not always be filled up with food so much. Because when you do that, it just takes all the blood from your body to your digestion, and it lowers your metabolism. It's the opposite of what you've always been told. So intermittent fasting, so well proven, humans have fasted for, you know, since there's been humans, we've had to fast because there was no food. <laughs> we've always fasted. Our bodies are meant to have feast and famine. And so when we took away the times where we didn't have enough food, when we didn't have enough food, our bodies were like, okay, where there's no food, <laughs> what are we gonna do? So the way the human mechanism, the survival mechanism is humans can survive quite quite easily two weeks. 
without food. And I, I don't ever, ever, ever suggest more than 24 hour fast. I, to me, I think they get sketchy and dangerous past 48 hours. I've never done more than 24 hours. And please do not embark upon that journey. I think it can be very dangerous. I think 24 hours is fine. 24 hours, is, anybody can do that. But it's, uh, past that, I get a little nervous. Of course, you're drinking lots and lots of fluids and water the whole entire time. And making sure you take those electrolytes, please watch that video. So, we're just gonna think back to how our ancestors were. The tribe is hungry. You need to find food. So you are biologically meant to be smarter, more energy when you're hungry. So that's the way we're meant to be because you have to go find food for the tribe. And so when we have shortcutted that process and become like raccoons or pigeons and just like, <sighs> stuffing food in our mouth all day long. We wonder why we have brain fog. We wonder why we have diabetes. We wonder why we have binge eating. We wonder why we have depression, anxiety, is because we never allow our stomachs to rest. So that is my step number two. So you definitely wanna make sure that you've clicked on the other two videos. That's going to explain the whole process. And definitely don't wanna start the intermittent fasting until you've been about maybe three weeks on the green Mediterranean diet because your liver will have so much sugar on it that the fat, the glycogen, that it's the fasting's not gonna make any difference. So I just wanted to add real quick, like, you know, the signs that you know that you're in ketosis because the fasting causes ketosis. So you are going to notice is that once your liver has the glycogen is all burnt off and that's gonna be after the first three weeks of eating a healthy diet, you will notice that you have to get, your mind gets really alert. That's my kind of first thing I notice. The second thing I notice, I start having to use the bathroom more often. That's ketosis. You'll be more thirsty, want to drink more water. So keep, you want to drink lots of water, hot tea, cold tea, electrolytes, drink a little bit of coffee in the morning. Don't drink caffeine past the morning time. You'll notice that when you really kind of get into that, like I'm in ketosis, about ready to break this fast, you're gonna notice a soap, whatever. I'm sure for everybody it's a little bit different. For me, I get like a weird soapy taste in my mouth. You'll choose, I always choose some gum because it just you know, kind of makes my mouth feel weird. Um, I, then I, but I'm happy because I'm like, oh, yay, I know I'm in ketosis. And the other thing I notice when I'm really getting to ketosis, I get cold. So like, I just feel a little chilly and I get a little cold. I never get tired, I never get fatigued, but just those things, I know I'm ketosis and once I'm in ketosis, I know that my body is burning fat. It's like, bye bye, fat, see you later. Happy I'm in ketosis. So that's kind of the joyful thing is that when you have those symptoms, you do not have to do ketone strips. You don't have to do anything special. After a while, you just kind of get to know your body and you'll know what it feels like to be in ketosis. So anyhow, that's the state that we're aiming for so that when we're in ketosis, we're gonna be burning that fat and losing the belly fat. So the next step is going to be boosting our metabolism, okay? So we want to boost our metabolism. So fasting brings the insulin down. We wanna boost metabolism. So make sure you click on to that video, find out what is the next